Okay, welcome at part three of sigma notation. So in part one, we talked about the common sigma notation, what everything means. In part two, we talked about the four steps that we're gonna follow. And part three, we have our first example and how to follow the four steps. Okay, so given this question, evaluate and then the sigma notation, we're first going to say one, what is this? For that question, we look at this part over here, which is the formula of a sequence. Now, this either will be an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. Now, if we look at the structure and the formula, like a very good giveaway is, is there exponent or not? And this time there's no exponent. So I'm going to say, if I look at the structure, it's an arithmetic. Okay, it's an arithmetic series. So, but this, of course, is the formula for an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so step one, done. Step two, okay, I'm going to say, okay, expand. And what this means is I'm going to write out the series. Okay, first, I need my A. So, what is my A? My A is, if I look at the formula, it's going to be 3. Because in my formula, this is A. Okay. And then I need my difference as well. So what's my difference? If we look at my formula here. Okay. So that would be 3 over 2. Would be my difference. And then I would go write it out. And... As I'm busy with sigma, which is sum and addition, so I'm going to write it in series formation. So my first one is 3. And 3 plus 3 over 2 is going to be 9 over 2. 9 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is going to give me 6. Okay. And then 6 plus 3 over 2 is going to give me 15 over 2. And 15 over 2 times 3 over 2 is going to give me 9. And I'm going to continue with this one. Okay. Now the very important question of this is, can I determine my last term? Which in this case is yes. Because up here, n, they gave me n. So my number of terms is going to be the top number minus the bottom number. plus 1. So in this case, my top number is going to be 13. My bottom number is 1 minus 1 plus 1. So that will give me a total of 13 terms. Now to get my final, my last term, I'm going to substitute it into my sequence formula. So therefore, I'm going to say t13 is equal to 3 plus 13 minus 1 times 3 over 2 and my final answer will be 21 so I know my last term over here will be 21 so I'm gonna say plus 21 and it will end there